Hello. Today we're gonna dismantle a Rico GR. Mine is broken. It has the uh, faulty shutter. Uh, sticks out lens. Shutter doesn't close anymore. All well known documented problems. Uh, so I decided just to look inside the body and um, record it as a video uh, for educational purposes, I guess. Uh, first off, you would start um, accessing the inside by removing screws here on the bottom. Three screws, one, two, three. And then uh, on the side, The, this is a top screw for the top plate. You don't need to remove everything, just like here, like the bit. There's a screw here. Then on this side, there are two screws. You just need to remove one from the back plate. And um, one specialty to do is here on the mid flash. You would lift a metal piece out. And this metal piece would give would uh, show you that there are four more screws holding the flash mount, and then you un unscrew those and get rid of that. So I did everything already. Mm. So when you unscrew everything. Uh, then you would go and um, lift up here from the bottom. Lift it up a bit. And you would also lift up the top plate. So you just lift it and hold it. Okay, like that. Hard to do. Um, and then just like that. And trying and trying. And then you would watch out because inside here. Um, there runs this cable from the main board, mother main board controller to the button board. There's a ribbon cable, and this cable you would just grab with a pinzette and slide it up and it's out. And then you are able to remove. This part okay this part is the back plate with the wind protective window now we have access to the monitor and this controlling board and the monitor is attached with this cable and what you do you like uh, take a very thing uh, it's the best not to take metal but the uh, thing plastic and just uh, here there's a brown plastic lid you would just go beneath and slightly pull it up and this will release the cable and you could just slide it out then the next thing the monitor is fixed here with two screws, um, it's a metal chassis, one screw here, one here, so we would uh, get rid of those, unscrew it, um, collect the screws somewhere we can remember, okay now the uh, screen is ready to go out but before 
you go off, you take it off, you'll be aware of this cable. There are two cables running around the screen. And you can um, uh, get, try to release those cables uh, um, so that they come, they are not around anymore. And they are like little metal uh, knobs which hold the cable to the screen. So you could bend those a little bit, but if you do it without bending, it's also possible, but you have to be more fiddly. Okay, now you got this cable out, black one and a red one, and then DR2, it's a yellow one. So get this to the side. Now the screen um, is free, so you just lift the screen like that. Don't touch uh, anything metal to electronics, so just put the screen away. Looks like that. Okay, put it next to your screws. The cable is very thin, just take care not to break it, don't bend it too much. Um, next thing we see here, this is the sensor plate, on the other side there is the, the sensor and uh, it's connected with the ribbon cable. So in order to remove the sensor we need to open this connection cable again. Same procedure as last with the screen. You just lift the small thing up and the screen is free. The cable. The next thing, uh, the sensor is uh, fixed with three screws and the screws have little, uh, not sponges, but uh, Oh, fuck shocks. I don't know. They are not shocks like like in cars. And um, yeah, you the lens module you can lift it up now and then it would be ready for like cleaning and stuff. Get the care. This is the sensor, the APS-C, and um, I already opened this camera. So before, when I open it, there was this slight, uh, this uh, rubber around the sensor, like just lying on top of it, a bit more sticky, and it was kind of a protection, mm, but. It, didn't seem to be really a tight protection because it's uh, under the rubber <laughs> there was like a hole <laughs> visible. Maybe it's not visible when the thing is like pressed against this part. Um, I guess not. But still, it's, it's not. Uh, I'm not confident about this. The next thing would, uh, for those interested is to have a look inside the lens module which uh, is a whole unit and it's um, fixed with three silver screws here, there and there. And also you notice the ribbon cable, the motherboard main. So let's remove the connection here. And now unscrew Now this thing moves kind of freely now. It's just blocked here by this corner. So you can touch that and press 
it out really easily. Um, now you will hold the main main module the uh, lens module in your hand. So now um, let's have a look at the lens module from the Ricoh GR. Um, it consists of um, four pieces. Uh, this back plate and uh, the outer ring, the inner ring and the um, lens ring and a fifth piece inside this uh, lens. Um, normally the camera operates um, on and off so it by um, extending the lens and we can do it manually by turning the second ring manually um, anti-clockwise and it will open up the lens module um, on the other side um, we see uh, this blue um, glass it's called hot mirror it um, filters out infrared light so that it doesn't get on your image um, because uh, yeah as we from the other part we know that the sensor is sitting um, here right behind this like that so if you would uh, make um, infrared photography if you like to do it with the Ricoh GR you need to um, remove this blue mirror and you can easily do it by unscrewing um, here the um, this plate and remove the mirror and um, now it's possible after unscrewing just to lift off the piece of plastic and it's just um, like this and further on uh, now we can access the blue mirror and there's a tiny gap here just uh, for doing so you can put something beneath it and lift up the mirror and i advise you not to touch the mirror just on the side maybe and you can see it's a fairly thick block of glass blue glass so make sure not to touch it i already did and it's hard to clean i have to say okay and further on uh, below the mirror there's uh, this um, kind of uh, protection it i think against scratches uh, or um, it's a very thin layer of material I can't say what um, so yeah let's remove that um, that's it for this part so the next part would be to open up and uh, look inside the lens and to do so we need to unscrew some screws here and um, before we do that there's one important thing uh, and this is a cable where you can see um, this cable here. This cable connects the camera um, controls to the lens. So every information like shutter and release and aperture goes through this cable and it's uh, connected to with uh, this um, connection here. And before you do anything and before you remove this ring uh, in the front, you need to disconnect the cable here yeah. and make sure you do this before. Um, the whole cable is um, looks like that. Um, actually, it's this cable. There are two pieces now, but you can look at this cable and this is the whole cable. So 
this part is here and uh, this part is uh, already inside and now the rest is uh, mounted to the inside the lens the connection so now when you open up the you power on the camera it uh, extends oh, come on like that so what happens to the cable um, it bends that goes out extends and when you close it goes back um, some comments suggested um, this opening and closing of the lens and uh, the moving of the cable extending uh, is, is uh, the major cause for the problem with the um, closed shutter after power on so that uh, wearing off this cable mechanically moving stretching and moving off like that will cause the cable to become yeah, maybe break here and um, further on people the, uh, reported that by exchanging this cable they make the camera uh, work again and it, I cannot confirm it now because I did not exchange the cable but I ordered two pieces as you can see just to do it also uh, not in this video another one maybe in future mm, but definitely it could be uh, the major cause or the cause for the closed shutter after power on problem um, let's have a look inside the lens there are one two four screws on the outer ring and you can just lift up the ring now and um, now the whole the rest of the lens is now disconnected you can actually lift it up the whole thing and uh, yeah this is what is left of the back plate of the lens module and the lens uh, has another ring which has the engravings for the gears here and you can also uh, remove this outer ring by just um, turning it like this close it like that and now remove the ring just by putting it out and you can see there are like engravings which just show how it will move further on this is what you will get and the next part just to go inside and have a look at the lens you need to remove the inner part from the outer barrel and I, have, I can tell you it's really I had a uh, long time struggle to get it out and I I pushed uh, here deformed a bit of it and uh, but while doing so like pulled it out and tried to to get it out and it's really not easy to do when you for the first time so after maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes of trying I finally f uh, could um, like pull it out so it's really not easy you have to know and while doing so there was one part which came out and this little guy and it just came out of there <laughs> and I really don't know where it came from so I cannot really put it back um, after doing uh, disassembling this it, uh, it still appears that everything works as, as it's supposed to do um, so mainly um, what I'm telling you is that the front uh, this closing but right now let's look at that and the lens itself um, we already have seen that it uh, gives suspended on suspension so when the camera goes on it goes like that 
and um, here's the cable which I already talked about. It is um, connected here to the various uh, connections. There's the motor, uh, it's connected inside in the um, aperture and shutter uh, assembly. I will go to this. And here, this part is where it moves. So, this, this could be the faulty um, part which extends and goes back every time. So, the cable could break there potentially. For now, we go further on, and uh, there are three screws on the top. And the front element. Mm. So you see, it's maybe one centimeter, maybe less uh, thick. Just plastic, but sturdy and no problem. And below that, um, there's this lens unit, and uh, it is connected here with the ribbon cable. But otherwise, you can just like uh, remove it from the other plastic. And um, here you see the lead um, shutter mechanism. Yeah, those are the very thin material leaves. Uh, well, I don't know even know what kind of material it is. You should not touch it like I do. Make sure. Uh, so there's nothing. It's like nothing inside. It's not sticky anything. And on the back side, um, I found out that you can actually trigger um, the shutter mechanically here. So there's a small switch, and so whenever I switch it to this position, the shutter closes and opens and um, another switch uh, is for the ND filter On ND filter, so like that, and the shutter. So, um, this is working, I mean, mechanically working here, there's nothing wrong about that. Uh, and this gives um, the hint that uh, there's something wrong, maybe with the electronics controlling that. So, I think this is for now everything we can unscrew and in the next episode we would maybe change the cable and see if the GR lens works again. But this is another episode. Thank you for watching. Any comments, suggestions, welcome.